Look at that. Isn't that nasty? It is definitely time to clean the gig. Here is five tips on how to clean it. Tip number one. Cotton swabs. Q-tips. Low alcohol. I take my Q-tip. Start rubbing it around the sides. Getting the inner bits. Using a decent amount of alcohol, but not so much that it's literally dripping off. You don't want to overdo it. As you can see, the Q-tip starts to get quite dirty. Make sure you go very gently as you move around because the ceramic disc down in the bottom here, this little puck, the heating element, it's held there with two little wires. So if you push too hard or try to like push down in there, you'll for surely break that free and it's definitely not fixable. Now, we want to make sure that this is on the red setting, so click it three times. Yellow, red. So on the red setting, it heats it up the hottest. So go ahead and cook that alcohol off. Get it running out of there. If you hold it too long, you'll turn it off. So just kind of and get a Q-tip ready with some alcohol. Get it nice and saturated. And go around and clean it. So you're basically getting the oil to run away from the heating element. And then you're cleaning it. And we repeat this process. Over. And over. And over. Until it is finally clean. Tip number two. How often you should clean it. You might be wondering. Well, if I wait too long and it gets all crusty like this. Then what is the best time? Well, as you're using your oil. You'll notice that it starts to get darker and darker. Before it gets black. Clean it with alcohol. I would say probably every three to four times you use it and add oil, clean it. The longer you wait, the more buildup there is, the harder it is to get off. And it gets to the point where it won't come off. Tip number three is make sure you use a high quality CO2 oil. The thinner the oil and the less particles that are in it, the less it's going to cake on. So if you use like a hard shatter where there's more waxes, that's going to build up residue quicker. The thinner the oil, the less particles in it, the longer it lasts before it needs to be cleaned. Tip number four is the temperature and how you use it. So if you have it on red all the time, it's going to burn it up real quick. And in fact, the red setting is mainly for cleaning. You should really only have it on the blue or the green. The green is plenty strong enough. When it starts to get dirty, you'll notice that you'll need it on the yellow to get a strong hit. So if you need to have it on a higher temperature to get a good hit, most likely your bowl is dirty and it's time to clean it. Tip number five, less is best. Fill only the amount that you're going to need for between three to five hits. If you fill it up too high at the intake holes, then it's going to spill out and it's gonna make it all clogged and harder to hit and you're going to have to clean it more often. So there you go, five simple tips and how to keep your gig clean and keep that bowl lasting a long time. This is what happens when you don't follow these tips. Endless amount of time cleaning without the results that you truly want. Because now it's time to replace this cartridge. If you've broken your bowl or it's gotten to the point where you can't clean it anymore, well then click on the link down below and I'll make sure that you will be able to get yourself another one. One thing nice is Puri 5 offers them at an affordable price. They're only $15, so and you can get yourself a cartridge. My name is Stanley, and this is Octivive. And if you've liked this, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you've had any issues with your gig, please leave a comment down below. Or if you have any great tips on how to clean your gig, make sure you comment down below. Thank you, and check out the next video.